In this video, we will discuss how the 4000X series oscilloscope can help you find and debug an infrequent parity error on an RS-232 link. The 4000X utilizes Agilent's patented MegaZoom 4 ASIC, which provides the industry's fastest uncompromised update rate, along with many powerful debug features never before seen in an oscilloscope. Let's begin. One of the benefits of a fast update rate is it greatly increases your likelihood of capturing infrequent events. Infrequent events are so challenging to debug because, by definition, they are rare. Not only does the 4000X have the fastest update rate in the industry, but this speed is maintained when we turn on things like serial decode or our digital channels. We call this uncompromised update rate. In this example, our fast update rate in hardware-based serial decode is showing an infrequent error highlighted in red on the transmit link. Without the fast update rate in hardware-based serial decode, it is likely that this parity error may never show up as an issue. Now that we have identified it, let's trigger on it. When using the serial capabilities of the 4000X, it automatically converts the triggering of the scope to be protocol aware, thereby allowing you to trigger on specific frames or packets being sent on the bus, along with errors. In this case, we set the trigger to RX or TX parity error. After doing this, you'll notice the error is so infrequent that the scope is auto-triggering in between each normal trigger event. By moving the trigger mode to normal, we now have a stable trigger. Let's turn on our lister menu to get an overview of the frames we are decoding on the bus. The lister menu gives a high-level view of all the packets occurring on the bus similar to what you would see with a logic or protocol analyzer. By nature, serial buses are bursty, or they have a lot of idle time between the packets and frames. The scope actually wastes acquisition memory digitizing that idle time. Fortunately, the 4000X has an intelligent memory system that uses segmented memory to tell the scope exactly what we want to capture. Let's capture a large amount of frames that contain the parity error to look for possible causes. To do this, we'll turn on segmented memory and capture 25 parity error frames. This ends up being over 11 seconds of time at 5 mega samples per second, something basically impossible to do with a traditional deep memory oscilloscope that would digitize all the idle time. Because each segment is timestamped, we can walk through each segment to see when they happen in relation to the initial trigger event. Another feature unique to Agilent is that each segment is also decoded making segmented memory and serial decode integration seamless. The lister is showing each of those packets, and we can click on each packet to take us to the individual segment the scope has captured. While we use the protocol aware triggering on the 4000X to isolate the parity error, we could have also done that using the InfiniScan zone triggering capability. In fact, just by drawing a must intersect box, changing it to the transmit channel, and then moving it to only capture the parity error, we could have easily isolated that infrequent error as well. That is one of the strengths of the 4000X's InfiniScan zone trigger. If you can see it on the screen, you can trigger on it. An integrated trigger and decode capability for low speed serial can be extremely powerful. In addition, having the decoding done in hardware allows you to find infrequent errors that scopes with a compromised update rate may miss and it is nicely integrated into the segmented memory portion of our MegaZoom Intelligent Memory System. To learn more about Agilent's new InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes, contact your local Agilent distributor and ask for a demonstration. Thank you.